you are well listened in music, but are you well read in books? I used to read a lot in my early life. When I got to be in the music business, I did the reading I had to do about learning to this artist about this artist, you got to read about it and know what, you know, and I spent time, but I always kept up with the news, what's going on in the world, especially in around me and my surroundings. And it value to me, I want to know about it, you know. You would read trade magazines. I read trade magazines. I read the albums, I read the artists. Back in the day, if a 45 coming out of a singer, it's usually in Billboard magazine. A new artist discovered it's going to be released since it's a date. So the tune, chances are you know the person, heard something about the person. If you never heard of the person, you're not going to buy it because you saw they releasing the record there. Yeah. Tie your mind up in that person, you might not sell a thing. Uh, you didn't do it that way. You got to be more wise about doing it. My way was I would keep abreast on music, what's playing in the area, what's going to be released, and what people come in and ask for. Every time someone come in and ask for something in the store, you got to write it down what they asked for. And when I close at night, I used to get the sheet and look and see what people are asking for. Then I decide, should I get it? How many times I asked for it or whatever. Yeah. There's a way you gotta, there's always a way you gotta check, do check and balance the best you can. The more you do it in, the better you're off. You did, yeah. and everything is not written down. You gotta sometimes make your own check and balance. I'm gonna do a test for you right now. Okay. Do you recognize any of these book titles? The Werewolf. The Werewolf? Yeah. I've heard it. Banshees and Goblins. Yeah. The Hound of Bakersville. Yeah. The Case of the Howling Dog. No, I can tell you if there's anything about music, some artists I haven't heard about. <laughs> Cobra. Snakes. Murder in the Rue Morgue. The Six Hour Day. <laughs> Outpost. The Mechanic Prince. The Old Masters. Touchdowns and Fumbles, Ride 'em Cowboy, Memoirs of Wolf. Well, I'll let you off easy. These are all fake book titles. <laughs> so you weren't meant, no one's meant to know what these are. Well, I haven't heard either one. Of them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was and a trick too, question. But, but I wouldn't dispute you because that ain't my thing. And if that had been music, you said, so John Coltrane did this. Uh, you would uh, know whether or not it was I said, real. no, no, he didn't even do that. So and so did that. No, so and so wrote the tune. You know, like that. Yeah. You know, like Round Midnight. Lawrence Mike wrote that tune. He's a jazz musician. Then beer. He did drugs. He did everything. You understand? Know yeah. And if you said, blah, 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 wrote Round Midnight, I'm saying, no, he didn't do that. That's why I do my research. But the book, that was going to interest me. One and one is two. Whatever is, is. If they wrote one it, one they wrote it. it. If they didn't, they didn't. Right. Ah!